Hey there everyone, welcome back to our Mark Box. So in today's video, I will be showing you guys how you can run, download and install Kali Linux on your iOS device without the need for any jailbreak or a PC and not even any site loading requirement. So guys, this is a very cool, simple and easy method and uh, you should be able to run it if you just follow this tutorial step by step guys. It's very easy and very simple. Before we do continue guys, make sure you leave a like and subscribe as we are getting close to 6,000 subscribers. So I would really appreciate it if you guys did subscribe. So anyways guys, let's get into today's video. So guys, first things first, open your app store right here and then simply search the word ISH. So just go to the search bar and search ISH. And then you should find the app right here, which is called ISH Shell. So now simply install it right here. So now guys, as you guys can see, it has been installed. Okay guys, so the next step would be to download the file in the description down below. Now here simply click on download and do standard download. And then guys, you will see that it has insufficient memory. So guys, for this you need to download the mega app right here. So since we are on, uh, we are on Android, well, iOS, we need to go to the app store. And simply search for it mega and then simply download it right here let's just wait for this to download okay so once you have installed the mega app right here you also have to sign into it so just create a quick little account and then just sign into it now guys let's open the link in the description once again and it will be to this file right here so now guys one thing that can be useful to you guys if it does not want to like open or something and it gives you like the desktop uh, download version just go here and then here hit on request a uh, mobile uh, website because on iPads it's usually a desktop website so just go and request the mobile website and now here guys you can click on it open in app and then open in mega and now here guys simply hit on open and blow and now just wait for this to download right here now this might take a while so let's just wait for this to finish installing okay so once it has been downloaded it should look like this now guys simply hit on the three dots at the top and now hit on make available offline And I'll just wait for it to download down below. So let's just wait for it. Yeah, also, guys, while this is downloading offline, let me tell you the requirements to actually be able to run it. I believe that you need an iPhone 12 or later, and then also a corresponding iPad to it. So I think it would be the iPad Pro 10.5 inch from 2017 and upward. So I believe any iPad that came out after 2018 or 17 I believe that it should work on that as well so this is just for so it won't work on iPhone 11s, iPhone X's maybe I'm not exactly sure but I will try and find out if there is a version for it and then I make a video on it as well so don't stress too much about it like. okay so now if you have like the basic version of Mega um, Unfortunately, this little thing will pop up. Transfer quota exceeded. So we're gonna have to wait around 5 hours for this to actually be able to continue transferring. So I'll see you all in 5 hours time. Okay guys, so once that's done, simply hit on close. So I have waited the 5 hours. Uh, yeah. So simply go to the offline right here. And then uh, simply click on it. And then at the share button, uh, hit on the share button next to done. Okay, let's just wait for this. Wait a minute. Hit on export file at the three dots next to it. And then hit on save to files. Now you can do it on my iPad, we'll just do it right there as well. So let's just wait for that to finish. Uh, exporting and now it should be exported right there okay so here's what you want to do next 
So simply open the ISH app right here and then hit on the settings button right here. Now go to file systems and then hit on import right there. Now simply import the file we just downloaded or the one we just saved. And then let's just wait for it to import right here. Just wait for it. Okay, so once it has been done, simply hit on the Kali, Kali iOS thing right there and now hit on boot from this firmware. So now it should crash guys and then go back for it. Now let's just wait for it to actually load. And as you guys can see, this will run Alpine, which is basically a recovery version from Linux. And now guys, simply type in Kali right here and hit on return. And as you guys can see, now you should be able to run Kali Linux on your iOS device. Now basically, this is a really cool thing. and allows a bunch of people to like access databases and stuff. But guys, this video is for educational purposes only. So please use this responsibly. And uh, yeah, I just want to inform you guys of how you can run this. If you, for instance, want to run something natively on your iOS device, you can do that. And uh, yeah, it's a very, very cool app. You can do bug fixes, which I think is just typing bug fix, and then it should start uh, bug fixing everything and then fixing everything. I don't exactly know how Linux works. I've not um, gone and done enough research on that to actually see what you can do with Linux. Uh, but if you are a Linux like a professional or enthusiast, I think that this will be perfect for you. And it's a very nice app to use and a very cool UI as well. Um, yeah, you can go to the settings and then you can change the appearance if you want to go light, dark, the theme, the font size, uh, the dark, cursor style, the blink cursor and everything like that. So yeah, it's really cool. And as you guys can see, we have the, done the bug fixes. Um, but yeah, if you know how to work with Linux and uh, how to actually operate commands and stuff, I think that this is for you and that you will be able to enjoy this quite a lot. So yeah, anyways guys, this is the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As I said, we're getting close to 6,000 subscribers. So I would really appreciate it if you guys do subscribe. Also, once again guys, use this responsibly and uh, the video is for educational purposes only. So I do not condone the use nor the uh, sharing of it. But anyways guys, hope you have an amazing day. Bye.